Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for week 10 of Budget Crafting. Today we're just going to do some napkins on jars. I watched Rustic Cottage Co. Um, make some mason jars with napkins on it and I thought, oh how pretty. And um, I know that I have done the little jelly jars before um, for a nightlight with some colored colored uh, Elmer's glue, but I thought that the napkins on there were really pretty. You could use them for storage. You could still use them for a nightlight. So I thought maybe we'd make some. And um, so the first thing is make sure that you clean your jar. I just washed my jars. First, I got the glue off and, um, and then I uh, went ahead and cleaned them with a window cleaner or otherwise you can clean them like with rubbing alcohol or or however you want to do it. You just want to make sure that you don't get your greasy fingerprints on the outside. Um, make sure they're nice and clean so that your paint sticks. But so she just went through and she painted the whole thing white. She painted it off white. I she she liked the white off white better. Um, and with some things like the one I'm going to do today is going to be bright colors. So I kind of like the white to to make it pop a little bit more. So, you know, you, you can make your choices to whatever color you want to paint it. You can even paint the background a color that matches your napkin. It doesn't have to be white or off-white. Um, you know, you can do it however you would like to do it. So the biggest thing is just go ahead and get it covered. And you're going to put your napkin on there, so you're not really going to see the paint that much anyways. So you don't have to worry if it's perfect. I find that it's kind of easier for me to just put a little bit of paint right on the jar and go from there. Don't put too much because it really goes a long way. The first one that I did, um, I had a lot of extra paint. So you, you don't need a whole ton. Start with a bit and then if you need to add a little bit more, you can always do that when you run out. But then you won't have a whole ton extra. But do the rim too. So, because we're not going to put a lid on this jar. So we don't have to worry about having paint on the rim. And then just kind of go through and give it a nice smoothing. And once you get it all covered, then you're going to have to set it aside and let it dry. So, I'm going to set it down for a second and give it a turn. Um, so I've got one that's already painted and dried so that we can just move on. But I thought we'd just go through and kind of do the whole thing other than the drying time. Kind of let you know the time you'll have into it. Go ahead and make sure that you also get your bottom. And then once they're dry, if you want, you can go through and distress them. For the one I'm doing today, we've got nice bright colors, so I'm not gonna do any distressing. And then I'm just going to take a piece of parchment paper, just kind of hold on to the bottom and tip it over like that. And then I'll just cover that spot that I touched. And then we'll just set this aside. I'm going to have to touch it again to set it aside. It'll just have a fingerprint on the bottom. So there we go. So once you get it painted, let it set aside. Maybe paint a whole bunch all at once. And with I just used Apple Barrel craft paint. And so it does dry pretty quickly. But you do want it to be nice and dry because you're going to get it wet again with your water glue. And this one I noticed there's a little like couple of little scratches here. And that's not going to make a difference. We're covering it with a napkin. So I chose this napkin because I just thought that it was, it's just so pretty and fun. I love this napkin. And um, so we're just going to take the backing off because all napkins have at least one or two layers of backing. I use a piece of tape. I learned, learned this from Crafty Irina. You just stick it on there and then pull up and that will separate your backing. And then just kind of look at it closely to see does it have another layer of backing or not. And you can usually tell if it does. Because if you leave that backing on there, once you glue it, um, the front will separate from the backing. And the backing will be glued to whatever you're gluing it to. And 
the front will kind of fall off. So you don't want that. Now I've decided I want to use the napkin. I don't want the border. And I'm going to go from here over to this um, flamingo over here. And um, I'm going to, you can rip it or you can cut it. And I think I'm going to cut it just because cutting it is quicker. Um, and because this is a video, I'll just go ahead and I will just cut it. Because it's going to, um, along that line, it's going to connect to the other side anyway. So it doesn't really make that much of a difference. I'm going to cut the border off the bottom also. Because my jar, if I go ahead and I make sure that I get the flamingo's feet then my jar is just going to catch the head of the toucan. And so I wanna get all of that in there. So I want to separate this whole bottom part right here. So I'm gonna cut off right along the foot of the flamingo. And go all the way across. There until I get to the other side. Oh, let me cut this piece off too so it's not in my way. Now look, that would make a really pretty border in a journal or on a piece of paper or on some kind of a, a collage page. So go ahead and keep those, don't throw them away. And then I'm gonna look here. If I go from there, I'm gonna go just above the toucan's head. And for that one, I am going to rip it because it will just kind of when you rip a napkin and then you glue it it kind of blends in better um, kind of hard to explain but a cut edge is very stark when you when you glue it down and so a ripped edge just looks kind of nicer and I need to go past that flamingo I believe And then I'm just going to maybe go a little bit further. And then come down. And then I'm going to check it. I don't want it to really overlap too much. Um, because the overlapping, it's thin. It might kind of show through. So I'm going to say, if I start here, and I wrap it around. Okay, my flip, my whatever this is. Two cans going to fit. I'm going to come all the way around to and just at the head of the flamingo is where they're going to overlap and I am just going to you know I think I will rip it right there and I will put that piece on the top of the cut one and it will blend in with that cut one better. go okay so that is what is going to go on our jar and we're going to use some water glue and water glue is two parts white PVA glue which is like Elmer's glue um, and one part water two parts glue one part water and it works kind of like a decoupage. Now, I always wind up with this ring around the top, and that's because I shake my glue when I'm done so that that glue gets up around that rim, and it kind of seals it off, and this will last for a really, really long time. I'm going to clean off my brush here. I'm just going to use my napkin back to dry it with. You can save these to play with, too, and make your own napkins. Alrighty now, the way that she showed how to do it was she laid hers down and then put her jar on there and rolled it around the jar. Oh, and she also used a piece of plastic, which I don't have with me right here. So I do have a piece of parchment over here. Maybe I'll grab that because then it, she said it doesn't stick to your hands. if the glue soaks through. So you're gonna cover the whole thing with your water glue 
making sure that you get it covered really well because you don't want a spot that's not glued down. And I'm doing it around the rim too, even though it's not going to go on the rim, just so that I know I have it up high enough. By doing this, I'm getting that little edge there in case my napkin gets up that high. I wanna make sure that it's glued down there. It's kind of hard to tell where you started. Alrighty, I think that the whole thing is covered. So we're going to try this. I haven't tried it yet. But I'm going to just, let's see, I want the cut edge to be on first. Who's on second? So and I'm just going to push that up there. Just like that. Bring this around. Like that. And since I didn't bring the, and I'm a little off right here. So napkins are really delicate. I'm gonna try and lift this up, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. You know, I don't think I am, so what I'll do is find a little bit of blue, because that's blue right there. I'll just get a little bit of blue off of here. There we go. That makes me happy. That just looks better. Okay, I'm gonna grab a piece of parchment. Just take a second. Because parchment is non-stick, so that will make it, hopefully, so that we'll be able to push on this and the parchment won't stick, but we'll be able to push that napkin right against the jar. Lots of noise. Yeah. Press it around the rim. Well, I am going to, she waited to put her second coat of Mod Podge on. Um, which we're using water glue, but I'm going to put mine on right away just because that's the way I've always done it. Um, she says, if you wait, let it dry 24 hours. You have less of a chance of it ripping when you put your, your second coat on, which makes total sense. Um, and you do have to be careful when you're doing your second coat not to rip your napkin. So you don't want to really drag your brush uh, across it, you know, heavily. Um, you just, you know, do it very lightly and make sure that you have a nice, wet um, paintbrush as you're putting it on. So you don't, you don't want to let the glue run out because that's when it rips your napkin is when your brush starts to get dry and doesn't have enough glue on it to glide across the napkin. So we'll just get this on here. And then we're gonna put some ribbon around the top. And the only thing is, is that we're gonna see what it looks like now. And, um, but because I'm not editing videos right now, there won't be an after picture, but I'll try and remember it when I do next week's video, which hopefully will be just shortly today, because we're going to my daughter's house in Oklahoma. The second and third week of August will be down there. So I'm trying to get ahead on my video so that there's no lapse because of the lapses that I had at the end of last year and the beginning of this year. You don't want to do that again, so trying to get them all done ahead of time, but I'll try and remember and show this to you. There's a little white spot there, but it's not. There we go. I think it's a bit of paint. Um, 
I'll try and remember to show you um, exactly what it looks like dry on the next one. But they don't look much different except they just look, um, you don't quite have the shiny glue on there. But isn't that cute? And maybe I'll even hunt up a tea light and see what it looks like with a tea light in it. And then I just grabbed some ribbons that I thought would look cute with it. And so I'm just going to take those and... Okay, you know, I was thinking, why not time around here right now? Because, you know, it'll glue them on. But as I'm thinking, they're going to fall down and touch the side of the glass jar. And then they might glue themselves to the glass jar. So I'm guessing I will tie those on there. And when I come back next week, we'll have this pretty ribbon on here. And we'll have the pretty jar. And I'll see about if I can find a tea light to see if they glow or not. Although it's hard to show if something glows or not in the um, on a video because I'd have to turn off all of the lights and turn them all back on again and they're all over the place. So, um, But yes, I think that this is really cute. I'm glad I saw that video because I really hadn't, I don't think that we've done, we have done nap, no, we've done tissue paper on glass jars before. But yeah, I really do. I like the napkin. I think that that's so cute. So if you have some napkins that you really like, this would look really cute in a kid's room um, or in a, just a nice, bright, sunny summer room. And um, that's it. Simple as that. So thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.